Hello, we are welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining us for today's tutorial. And also, thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for interacting with us. And if you have any questions concerning the previous tutorials, we're always there for you. So today we are going to discuss Arduino. It's an electronics platform. It's an open platform that has hardware, that has software. So today we are basically going to look at the hardware part. Then in our subsequent video, maybe next week, we'll look at the software. That's where you program, at, you program your um, projects and then to work alongside the hardware. We have done so many projects. There are so many embedded systems using the Arduino. That is using the software and the hardware. Now the hardware comprises of sensors, comprises of the Arduino board itself, and comprises of different things used for the used for designing of the circuits and then designing of your hardware part. Then the software also has the the um, programming tools where you program your projects and then make them work alongside your hardware. So the hardware is the it, here we have the hardware, the, the Arduino kit and the sensor kit. Now in this sensor kit, sorry, in the Arduino kit, you will see all the materials you need for your Arduino. These are all the components of the Arduino. So you have plenty of them and then you also have your sensor kit. But let's look at the components of the Arduino first. And then I think I'll be explaining them one by one. That is just the the basic ones, the most commonly used ones, the ones you need to get conversant with. So here is an LCD. It is used for, it is used as a screen. You know, when you are programming and then you want, or any project you're working on that has something to do with um, you visualizing what you are doing. That is having this an, as an output. You can use this as your screen whatever it is you are programming, then if it's something, especially something that has to do with measurement, something that has to do with um, seeing your result on the screen, you can use this as your, your monitor for, for it. Sorry, I was supposed to introduce this before that because this is the main thing, this is the Arduino board itself. So on the Arduino board, you have your, uh, your digital pins and then your analog pins. These uh, digital pins are used for input and output. That is, during your programming, you can, whatever it is that you are sending into your computer system, you know, you'll be connected to the Arduino, you'll be connected to the digital pins. So here yeah, we also have the, the power port, that is the USB port. So with this, you can connect to your system using this port. And using the Arduino, sorry, the Arduino USB cord. So with this, you can plug it in here, and then you plug into your system, and then it gives you five volts because it's, that is the regulated power. It cannot give you more than that, and cannot give you below that. So that is that. And you also have the power barrel where you connect to your to your DC battery. So this also gives you. I think this gives you more than five volts. Gives you nine volts. Gives you uh, but cannot give you higher than 12 volts because that is the highest the Arduino board can carry. Anything higher than that, it will either damage your Arduino board or it will not give you the desired result. So we also have the jumper wires. It's your male to female jumper wire. Then you have male to male jumper wires. You no, know, why using this? Can use can be used on your digital pin. So you just plug it in. And then you connect to whatever you are doing. So it's part of the, the components of the Arduino. Then we have the breadboard itself. This is used for the electronic circuit. As you can see, all these pins, this the jumper wires can be fixed inside the, um, the breadboard where you can have your circuit uh, designed and function. So we also have um, other things in the Arduino kit. We have the analog. You have the um, water sensor, you have the potentiometer, then you have also the resistor. But it anyway, it, it can be used to, to either reduce the amount of power entering into a circuit or, or, or that. 
So that's just what it's meant for. Like for in, in the course of using LEDs, also have LEDs, you use your resistors so, so as not to allow them get damaged by um, a higher amount of power going into it. So with that, we also have the ultrasonic sensor. It's one of the sensors that is frequently used in the robotics lab, used on robots, used for different purposes. It can measure, it can use to measure a distance, it can be used to detect um, an obstacle, especially in robotics. So building robots it can be used to detect an obstacle. So all this function, all this take measurement from the environment alongside your programmed your your code of programs and allow your electronics to respond to it so that is basically what the sensors does that's why we have a sensor kit it has uh, most of the sensors that are used in the lab so you have a temperature sensor you have like i've mentioned earlier you have water sensor and you also have ir you have lasers you have different kinds of sensors so all these sensors take measurements they take values from the environment of the the uh, the mechanical system or the electronic system you want to um, embed on so they use they take all these values and then act on them to make it interactive with the environment just what embedded system is all about to innovate on an existing electronic or mechanical circuit so we do that using the arduino board and using the arduino kit using the sensor kit we have done the likes of temperature control system. We have done the likes um, using the Arduino board and its component. So it takes uh, measurements from, it takes values from the environment where it is installed and then allow the electronic system, allow the system to act on it by regulating the uh, temperature in an environment. So we have different sensors, but in subsequent videos, in our next video, probably we may be taking um, a tutorial on the sensors and what each of them can do. Like the ultrasonic sensor, it can measure as far as 40 centimeters in the project or in whatever it is being used on. So, thank you for joining us for today's tutorial. That is that, that was just a brief introduction to the components of the Arduino. So in, the, in our next video, we'll be looking at the Arduino software because we just saw what the hardware looks like. We saw the the jumper wires, the LEDs, you have a buzzer inside, you have buttons, you have uh, the ultra ultrasonic sensor, you have your USB cord which is connected to the Arduino board, you have your Arduino board itself, and you also have the LCD, you have the servo motors, you have a relay which can also, while using a higher, um, an electronic or a system that requires higher volts, you can use this connect connected to your Arduino board because Arduino board doesn't give out and that much both so you can use this to increase the to power on the electronic or the system you are working with so that is that for today thank you for joining us on today's tutorial don't forget to like our videos don't forget to interact with us don't forget to forward your questions to us we can help you in to solve your project and to do whatever you want to do see you next time i remain ken